we come back, we will be showing you about the Japanese exchange students, the nativity, and many more on HITV. Welcome back to HITV. Skirt Magazine's political competition was won by middle schooler Allison Rock. Allison won skirts, any little girl can be present. Her campaign theme was building a better tomorrow. Last month, Japanese exchange students visited Holy Innocence Episcopal School. Here is Kai Bennett reporting from the upper school. In January, Japanese exchange students came here to Holy Innocence to teach high school students about their culture. Japanese students did a very good job with their presentation. They showed that their culture is very different from ours. There were lots of people involved in, the, in organizing the program. There were some teachers that went to Japan to learn about their culture and meet the exchange students. We started going to Japan in 2001. That was the first trip. And we have, I have been with the program since its beginning. It started as a Fulbright when um, two teachers from the upper school, the middle school, and the lower school uh, went to Japan in the summer for six weeks. And we went to Tokyo for a week. Then um, they sent us to our host people for um, four weeks and then back to Tokyo. And during that time, we met Shimako up in Sapporo and she was part of Asahigaoka High School and because of our relationship with Shimako that is how this exchange with Holy Innocence started. Students had to get very good grades to come to America and they had to learn very good English. We mostly just speak English because they've been studying English for a very long time. This is Kai Bennett reporting from Holy Innocence Upper School, HITV. Every year, HI kindergartners have a nativity in December where their parents get to come and watch their child, and the child gets to dress up as one of many costumes. It's nearly impossible to go without smiling or crying. This year's nativity took place on December 14th at 9 o'clock a.m. in the Fine Arts Building. The dress rehearsals were on the previous two nights. Before Christmas, middle school teacher Miss Sam Betty did a yoga class. She has been practicing yoga for 11 years. She says it helps them get the stress out for exams. The yoga class was held December 18th in the middle school media room and was open to 8th graders. It's great for flexibility, muscle strength, relaxation, and, and it can be good for a little bit of cardio and endurance. It's a good, uh, healthy lifestyle if you really get into it. It helps build your muscles. Yoga really helps you relax, and we have exams right now, so it's good. It gets all the stress out. When we come back from the break, sports anchor Trent Alley will have the information about the football season, midnight madness, all that and more coming up on HITV. Studies show subjects exposed to innovative learning create new knowledge and lead in ways that benefit society. Direct stimulation to the research sector inspires discoveries that strengthen the economy. In fact, a small handful of world-class universities are now recognized as the brains behind their state's prosperity. And you thought all we did was teach. The University of Maryland. Fear the turtle. So it's been a great year so far for the Holy Innocence Sports Program. Yes, it has, Bailey, especially for the varsity football team. The football Golden Bears made it to the second round of the playoffs in only their second years of, of existence. Well, we knew we had a pretty good football team coming back, and uh, but we, you know, we didn't think that we were going to be as good as we ended up being. Uh, we met all of our 
our expectations, I believe, mine for sure, and, and, and then it exceeded a lot of them. We had, uh, you know, we had some great senior leaders. Uh, we had uh, our underclassmen, our juniors and sophomores, I think, played well. Um, you know, I think we were all disappointed that we didn't win the second round of, in the second round of the playoffs. I think we thought we were uh, prepared and uh, very easily could have won that game. But, uh, you know, again, I, I'm overall very proud of, of the team and the, you know, our coaching staff and, and even getting to that point. Uh, these kids that go through football are going to do this all their lives. They're going to have to work. Uh, with a group and uh, in jobs, business, whatever they do, and uh, that's that's the main focus of football. It's a team. It's not I. It's we, and uh, that's what we try to focus on: is everybody pitching in for the for the main cause. September 23rd, the Holy Innocents Golden Bears took on Hillgrove in non-region action. Running back Rawson Allen combined for 139 yards in a fake field goal or from the 38-yard line to help the Bears to a 31-21 victory. On November 7, 2007, the Holy Innocents Golden Bears took on GAC. The winner went into the playoffs as the number three seed. The Bears were looking for revenge from earlier in the season. The Golden Bears won 10-6. On the day of November 18, 2007, the Holy Innocents Golden Bears took on Fannin County in the first round of the playoffs. The game winning TD was a pass from Will Allen to Andrew McGonagall in the corner of the end zone. Holy Innocents won the game 13-7 and advanced to the second round of the playoffs. The varsity volleyball team made it to the Final Four this year despite some very hard competition. Uh, I think this year, uh, Landmark Christian, um, the sectionals was really good for us and our team. Uh, we played well, uh, we shut down one of their big hitters, and uh, I ended up going to the Final Four. I did expect to make it to the Final Four. Our team worked really well together, and we all got along, and this was one of the best years we ever had. Uh, we had a lot of people who played really well, who got better as we went along. Uh, I think probably um, in terms of consistency, um, probably Melissa Reeder and her passing got better and better than all. The Holy Innocence Boys Varsity basketball team has had a great year this year. They currently are 15 and 9. They also have a new head coach, Coach Mike Harner. Is he the reason they are doing so good? HITV's own Jack Bedner with the report. The expectations for the basketball season are high. The team's got a new coach and he comes to the school with new coaching styles and techniques. I think it's going pretty well. I think the guys are getting adjusted to my style of coaching, and uh, um, I'm learning their strengths and weaknesses and uh, the best way to approach each, each one of them. Oh, he's awesome. He's, uh, I like how he uh, gets us to play, gets us to play hard, and uh, very enthusiastic about how he is working. I like his style of play. It's like a free run offense, and I feel like everyone on the team, he lets them know their role. And outside of basketball, he's a nice guy, real funny, cool hang out with There have already been some great, and great games and experiences with the new coach. The new coach is already very impressed with the team's performance, but he says there are some things that need improvement. I think we can improve the team through hard work and practice and come with consistent effort each and every day. It's been a great season so far and most uh, Holy Innocence fans expect it to go far. This is truly a season to remember and the coach's confidence and enthusiasm is rubbing out on the players, especially with this new catchphrase. Boom! <laughs> I'm Jack Bennar reporting Atlanta, Georgia, HITV. On January 13th, Holy Innocence took on Creekview. Matt Webb and Hamilton Bailey led the team with 15 points each. DeMar Demarcus Acre shipped in six points. Holy Innocence won 61-39. Holy Innocence played Paideia on January 27th, 2008. Davis Lukens has 17 points and eight rebounds. 
Daniel Boston had only had five points with great effort. Holy Innocence won 63-48.